वेलकम टू दी यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी विल लर्न क्लास एट केमिस्ट्री चैप्टर क्लोरिन एंड दिस इज पार्ट फाइव इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ क्लोरिन क्लोरिन इन प्रीवियस पार्ट वी हैव लर्न टिल थर्ड प्रॉपर्टी टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विथ फोर्थ वन द फोर्थ प्रॉपर्टी इज डिसमेंट रिएक्शन डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन सो डिस्प्लेसमेंट मीन्स वेन ए रिएक्शन ऑफ मोर reactive element displaces with less reactive element is called displacement reaction in that 2 kbr plus cl2 gives 2 kcl plus br2 and 2 ki plus cl2 gives 2 kcl plus i2 In equation one, bromine is displaced from potassium bromine bromide solution by chlorine. In equation two, chlorine is displaced from potassium iodide solution by chlorine. Thus, a high electronegative element like chlorine can displace a relatively less electronegative element like Br two, I two, etc. From their solution, chlorine being more electronegative than bromine. and iodine displaces both from their solution as seen in the equations first and second fifth is addition reaction addition reaction so CO plus Cl two gives CoCl two phosgen. SO two plus Cl two gives SO two Cl two sulfuryl chloride. In the above reaction, the reactant molecules simply add up to give addition compounds. Such reactions are called addition reactions. In the first addition reaction, the product formed is COCl2 phosgen this is an extremely poisonous gas in the second addition reaction chlorine gets added to sulfur dioxide to give a harmless compound called sulfuryl chloride SO2Cl2 six is reaction with metals and non metals reaction with metals and non metals so reactive metals like sodium potassium calcium and magnesium when heated and introduced in a jar of chlorine often catch fire and burn spontaneously at ordinary temperature cl2 reacts with yellow phosphorus to form phosphorus trichloride pcl3 and phosphorus pentachloride pcl5 the phosphorus catches fire and burns with a bright light producing white fumes p4 6cl2 gives 4pcl3 p4 plus 10cl2 gives 4pcl5 with non metals when dry chloride is bubbled through molten sulfur a red liquid called sulfur monochloride is formed 
and with normal metals metals like aluminium zinc iron and copper when heated in a current fluorine form the corresponding chloride after that next is seventh method that is substitution reaction seventh property substitution reaction so chlorine reacts with hydrocarbons and substitutes hydrogen atoms with itself c4 sorry ch4 plus cl2 with uv light gives ch3cl plus 4 sorry uh, plus hcl methyl chloride then next equation is ch3cl plus cl2 with uv light gives ch2cl2 plus hcl dichloromethane ch2cl2 plus cl2 with uv light gives chcl3 plus hcl chloroform next is chcl3 plus cl2 gives uv light with uv light gives ccl4 plus hcl carbon tetrachloride the eighth property is action with slaked lime eighth property is action with slaked lime c a o h whole to like this whole to next uh, we will learn about this in detail so action with slaked lime means when chloride gas is passed over freshly prepared slaked lime it reacts to form bleaching powder calcium oxychloride caoh2 plus cl2 gives caoh c sorry uh, caocl2 plus h2o caoh2 is dry and cool slaked lime and caocl2 plus h2o is bleaching powder then ninth is oxidizing nature of chlorine oxidizing nature of chlorine oxidation is loss of electrons and the chemical agent which gains electrons is called oxidizing agent oxidation is also removal of hydrogen and the chemical agent which removes hydrogen is called oxidizing agent oxidation is also gaining of oxygen or electropositive elements like na and the chemical agent which helps in doing so is called oxidizing agent chlorine acts as a good oxidizing agent on account of the following reasons first is it can gain electrons easily on account of its small size second is it has high affinity for hydrogen and removes oxygen so it removes hydrogen from compounds third is moist chlorine liberates nascent oxygen with facilities oxidation cl2 plus C, cl2 plus h2o gives 2 hcl plus o plus nascent oxygen the nascent oxygen oxidizes 
A sodium sulfate to sodium sulfate B phosphorus sorry sulfurous acid to sulfuric acid I hope you have understood till this in part 6 we will learn bleaching and then 10th topic sorry 10th property that is bleaching property of Cl2 then we will start test for chlorine and then uses of chlorine and then we will end this chapter i hope you have understood till this for any queries and doubt you can join the telegram link given in the description of this video like this is the foundation of class 8 we have covered the foundation of class 7th too the links are given in the description please go and check through it i hope you have understood this thank you for watching let's meet in part 6 with new topics thank you for watching